The season of political turmoil in William Ruto's Mount Kenya camp is not yet over. Mainan Jenga is administering anti-Ruto oath outside Nakuru law courts today. But as you think, that is just the only incident you're wrong. Mutai Kahiga, speaking in Inore FM, is revealing what exactly is the cause of fallout between Ruto and his deputy. But why is Rigedi Geshagwa now changing tone and demanding that Uhuru Kenyatta to be the kingpin? Welcome to the Bold Analysis. These three political events in Mount Kenya are drawing the attention of the country into what has then come out as a full armor war against William Ruto. And I don't see how things are going to remain the same as we head towards 2027. And I want us to start here. The former uh, ex-Mungiki leader, um, Mainan Jenga, was appearing in court in Naivasha and where he was facing the charges against um, incitement that by then, when he was arrested some time back, and after that court session, he had one-on-one -on -one with the residents of Nakuru, the young people that had convived around the court. And when Maina Jenga picked the microphone, this is what was happening there. Na vile chia mwana amesema si mwana kuna ushaidi. Yeah. Si nuna hini mambo ya nini ya, ya kukurukakara. Yeah. Yeah. Yani sasa watu wanaleta manene ya kukurukakara na sarakasi kwenye mahakama. Yeah. Na unawa mpaka zile guns wanaleta ni zile guns za CBC. Yeah. Na zile wanaleta ni zile guns za CBC. Na zile mzuri. Yeah. Na tuko onyesha kwamba hizo ni vitu unweza pata hapa kwa street. Yeah. Sasa mjue hii shida tuko na ayo. Ndiyo wakumbusha tena kwa mba njindi omulituletea shida gani? Sini. Sini kweli? Yeah. Na si muna juo vile hii shida iliingia? Yeah. Si muna juo vile mulifanya mwaka jana? Yeah. Mwaka, mwaka uliwa pita ule ichaguzi mwingine? Yeah. Si muna juo mulidanganywa? Yeah. Mutakubali ya uongo tena yendele? Yeah. Mmejitua kwa hiyo kichango ya haslas? Yeah. Mmesema njini ni vijana na waze wakikikuyu? Yeah. Yeah. Na si unasikia sisi wata tukipatana tunaito kwa mba sisi ni watu ene ukabira? Yeah. Na siya wa watu kwa wako wako wate ni wakikuyu? Yeah. Ni kabila imekuleta hapa? Yeah. Si ni kutafuta haki? Yeah. Kwa nini tukipatana sisi tunambiwa kwamba sisi ni watu wenye kwa kabila? Yeah. Hii shida nyingi vijana na wazee, musi tuletete na si munajua? Yeah. Si munajua 2027 tuko wenye kazi? Yeah. Mutakubali ushenzi tena? Yeah. Mutakubali kazi, mutakubali uongo tena yendele? Yeah. Mutamuka mapema? Yeah. Wenda kufanya nini? Bigatura. Mugamo, come on, my girl, Mugata. Mugamo, 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 Mugam
na unit ya mauti Kenya ni mukwenda murumire maudu mothe ma gucokaneria ndu nigetha tugie na urumwe na baya situ sia mauti Kenya ciongererwo barabara yagire na natiguo na holo wa one man one vote one shilling ndine timwega muno natiguo ndegwa ni tugu tugwa kisha maudu macio ni mekuinga one man one vote one shilling one man one vote one Mukire <laughs> na ushahidi hakuna ushahidi haku hakuna hata watu wa elevi bila wanasema wanasema lakini si mnajua maisha ya Kenya sasa hizi ni ngumu yeah. taxation ni kali yeah. sisi tupata wakati wa kutafuta pesa tu November yeah. na hiyo itakuwa ni muhimu sana yeah. si ndio yes. hata waisi kidi ile horosho timweka yeah. tutide kana na maheni ma tuone kana ni mauki nyamo hizo unadhiguo na ni na horosio ka gokoro 11 that is not just a coincidence it's not the first time that you see mine and jenga converging youths and administering this odds I remember some time back when he was not in good terms with the deputy president Gedi Geshagwa and he administered such an oath in Laikipia the state went full brutal against him and now it is coming at a time when camps are emerging and if you are a voter in Mount Kenya it is just about time to choose which camp do you want to belong with do you, do you want to belong to I want to stick to Gedi Do you believe Ndindi Nyoro and Ruto are the right camp or you need to fall back to Uhuru Kenyatta and now Maina Jenga is in the fold. And so from that statement it only means that Maina Jenga is also joining the camp that is saying Ruto is no. And things are going to turn very interesting coming in future. Now this is coming at a time when the DP is falling out to this boss. And one of the person that I've always believed is the mouthpiece of the deputy president that is the Nyeri governor Mutahi Kahiga appeared in Inoro FM and while speaking in Inoro FM he is revealing the real cause of fallout between Ruto and Regadi and according to him William Ruto has disrespected his deputy and it is no longer secret that Regadi is undergoing what allegedly Ruto underwent. But I've always believed that things don't just happen. Regadi has been the engineer of his own downfall. But well, without much ado, this is what Mutaika Hege said. Kwa mudamaki wa bururi aliyete kundu gwetago githumo. Nie ne nie ne jiga ne kora wana kabuku ga kuandika maudu na nijue nyumba ito ne radika. Mudeni olea aviete na goko nyanza. Agedi akiuga ati share holding in primitive. Oni na damu choke ile de mwira munana tere jira ni uteti ora hura. No akoti uteti de goko choke na deto jio kirima. Ole wara gi ohoro wa share holding in deputy president. Na deputy president agiari ya mai mai jiria make. Ni ole amara ikanie. Toki uma hau oidhuwe. Toki ewo nerega atirega de reuni yo kuiga metego kuria state house ya kuiga metego nerega muthuri yo uma na guku karia ine dagato ni na ne matuge ci tuge tu ane maiguna meire mwishimo wa witurega thiri ni uri ari ni uri oi twa na ria thina ri uriyo aba metego ona damenyire kuria mudu atonyerie tugire kama thamu mayari twa berie kurorari ukona hau ni hathio na ane hathio na tugire hati akirekereria kui mwana ukondege na no ko kulema ngia taratuira ii tukika madhabu tuone atirire ite china cio mega ya nire ya athia ya nire tuona tukihatiririo tondu toriora igwire ginya andu amwe rimuru rimuru thima gekara makawa ite 
mwiga nona ni mudhiu yes. no tutishoke hiyo ni yes. mwenyewe ile ato ikaire na president mjamani uitu wa bere na adwa na kenado anyire mm -hmm. o mjamani ile tuli tu age ato tutie tu age twamwelie mm -hmm. mudhamaki ni ma ni woni ile adwa itu ile mare umiri mm -hmm. itichi ni sio adwa itu marai na sio na adwa ya marai na itichi ile mm -hmm. akoni uko mahuta le mm -hmm. wahuta mudu ugatwetia mudu mm -hmm. ugo ni gwetu akirika na hiyo ugo tukiambe tuge atirire kile kile atuma atukinege ne ugo ni atirire yes ah uh, fadire tuge dororu oro ugo na kwehokana mm -hmm. And so this is what's happening. And that is going on. The deputy president also went charm offensive in Mount Kenya. And after attending a burial in Kirinyaga the home county to Anwe Guru, who also have turned against Rigadi. Rigadi Geshagwa made different stopovers in shopping centers. And in a very arousing welcome, Rigadi took the opportunity not only to castigate those who shot a young man in Kiambu, but is also saying it is about time that the mountain converges around former president Uhuru Kenyatta. Now, that statement has not just come as a coincidence. The Gedi Geshagwa have actually in time been demanding, or rather been requesting that he apologizes and will remain friends with the first family, first Mount Kenya family, Kenyatta family. And Kenyatta family is a household political name in the mountain. And you cannot talk about Mudabanki without mentioning Kenyatta family. And this is seen as plan B. Because the initial plan of the son of Madeira was to ensure that the whole region is going to unite around him. What has rattled the rest of the country is why the DP has been selfishly talking about the unity of Mount Kenya. And the political pundits outside the region are asking who is the enemy that Mount Kenya is uniting against. But in this podcast, I will want to challenge that question and ask it differently. Must you have an enemy for you to unite? Can't you unite for a purpose? Or is it a Mount Kenya birthright to support William Ruto? Todo toge ala kweda na toge kuigua na toga yoka niyo na tuwa ne uru. Nemo kwa ya tonyi tane? Ni ya doiga na maloga toiga na toke doke mo doke doke mo doke doke mo doke doke mo doke doke mo. And so any other person that is seen not to be supporting Kenya Kwanza is regarded as an enemy of the nation. I am repeating in this channel that there is absolutely no reason to outlaw a unity called by any other member any other tribe in the country it is not tribalism but it has emerged as the new trend of political mobilization that was started by even the power bearers our politics is tribal of course a lot of work has to be done to undo that but that does not negate the fact that that is the architecture of our politics and so the big question here the three incidents is showing you the rumble in Mount Kenya is, is far from over. Rigadi Geshagwa is saying, let us unite and let's work together with Uhuru Kenyatta. And Uhuru Kenyatta is the enemy number one to President William Ruto. Remember, President William Ruto's status team has even denied the former president's funds and his dismissment allocation has not been going on. So why is Rigadi falling back to embrace a man he regarded just a year ago as his worst enemy? How fast things change. Because politics is about interest. And you will go at whichever length to ensure that you secure your interest. What Rigadi would actually want, according to me, and that is why even any other push together has to be looked keenly. You would want to use that as a threat. Because if I work with your enemy, then 
you are going to also to take me very serious. But someone said in English that your enemy must not be your enemy. Your enemy must not be my enemy. You can, it can be your enemy, but it's not a must that is my enemy. That is maybe the policy that Rigardi is trying to employ. And in this podcast, I want to explain why the anti-Ruto of in the unity agenda that is taking central stage in Mount Kenya is going to complicate many issues for the mountain. The one question that everyone is asking is, is it Mount Kenya's birthright to represent William, to, 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 to defend Ruto? No. No, it is not. If anything, it is not there. It is not prerogative of anyone to defend. And so everyone can chart his or her own political path. So this unity agenda is emerging. The odds are being taken. People are taking odds of not to support William Ruto. And I know this is going to be a very terrifying situation. Immediately Ruto will come from US, will come back in the country when things are not so much good for him there. And the reason I'm saying it will be very complicated because Many have touted the son of Sugoi as a man who is tactical in politics and one of the best strategists. But even the best strategists would not find it easy to crush both Ruto, both Uhuru and Rigadi and Maina Njenga separately. It's very difficult. You can try to deny Uhuru, you can try to deny Uhuru funds. But if you are to deny Uhuru fans, then you need Rigadi Gashako to support you. And you can try to, decline, to, to deny Rigadi Gashako helicopters. But if you do that, then you must make sure that Maina Njega supports you. It is politically important. It is politically difficult to deny Uhuru fans and frustrate Uhuru Kenyatta, to frustrate the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, and also at the same time arrest and take Maina Njega to court. It will be difficult because the resultant effect is that the enemy or rather the sympathy vote will converge around these people. Now the Ruto policy is already is facing turmoil. The Ruto term is already facing turmoil. And any breakup, the unity agenda of anti regadi going anti regadi would actually worsen the situation. And I've always been saying that things are not good. No government has always become popular. President Ruta himself is on record saying, I must not be popular because I was not elected to be popular. So I want to believe even himself, he knows, that is not popular. But what then the politicians cling on is loyalty, political patronage, using different factors such as tokenism, when you give the politicians money so that they can praise you, or political party. So that you praise and everyone believes, I belong to UDA. So whether the president is wrong or right, I belong to UDA. But what the country needs is just one person that can come out and say, this is wrong. Raila Dinga has been the person doing that, but is heading to African Union Commission and seem to be less interested about the local politics. So cannot so much be taken into that. The reemergence of Uhuru as the center of power is a big danger. Because if the gather is to take, and remember you have to take cognizance the fact that even after Limuru 3, in, in Limuru 3, Uhuru Kenyatta was picked as the kingpin. Now, the Geshagwa camp, when attended the funeral in um, a, a bar, an event, a Sunday event, a church event in Nyeri, they tried to castigate Limuru 2, but Rigadi Geshagwa kept off. While himself, it is his position as the deputy president that has been using to thrust himself as the senior most leader in the region and to thrust himself as the kingpin. And has taken a low stand. Remember, the reason why if Uhuru Kenyatta is going to call the shots in the mountain, then that's what is where, that is where the Kenyan politics in 2027 will tilt. Because we'll only be, you'll only need to have a phone call away from Raila and Galonzo. You consolidate Azimio Laumoja and get another reason to remove Ruto from power. And that will be enough to charge the politics. I'm also seeing the Ruto order sympathizers that were harvested 
using Uhuru fallout will likely return. There are a number of voters, a clique of voters in the mountain that support William Ruto. And if you ask them, give me one policy, give me one personality of Ruto that you support, they will tell you that we support the president because Aliteso na Uhuru. Now, I've always said, and if you look at the, the person that William Ruto addressed in the campaigns was the hustler, the Mama Mboga and so. That Mama Mboga no longer takes pride in the sense that he voted for the president. So, the person that supports William Ruto and those who had just left Uhuru because Uhuru and Tessa Ruto, that person will likely go back and things will become very complicated. So, within no time, it will be very key to look at how the politics of the region will evolve. Thank you.